What's up everyone? I'm Fire Princess and you're watching Let's Play With Fire. We're playing the Ye Old Royal Kingdom Challenge today and we are with the Goth family. A couple episodes ago we rolled the random occurrence scenario for the neighborhood and we found out that a lot of sims got kidnapped. One of those sims was Alexander Goth. Bella and Mortimer have been quite distraught. We've seen both of them running around Praven. Everywhere we've been, they've been in the background just trying to find where the heck their son is. So far, they haven't had any luck. They have had a note from the kidnappers basically saying that they will return Alexander Goth for 10,000 simoleons and that they're going to have to meet them out in an open public area in order to get them back in order to get Alexander back anyway. But they are willing to pay the price to get their son back. Belle's gonna do some singing. <laughs> some inspirational singing, maybe. <laughs> now, Bella doesn't want to go out and be a part of trying to get him back, mostly because she's gonna stay home and kind of hold down the fort. But Mortimer is gonna go out. We need to find a way to get the kidnappers their 10,000 simoleons. I'm gonna try and use one of the treasure chests we have. But just a reminder, Bella has already lost her brother, so she's really hoping that they can find Alexander again and is completely willing to pay the 10,000 simoleons to get him back. She doesn't want to lose another family member so soon after losing her brother. Mortimer has a chest set up. I'm gonna go ahead and use Inras to transfer 10,000 simoleons to our kidnapper, but we'll just make believe it's in this chest here. So I'm gonna throw this into his inventory if I can. I don't know that I can. I wasn't able to get the chest into Mortimer's inventory, so unfortunately I can't use that as my way to transfer funds, but we'll just say, you know, Mortimer's got the money with them. And he was told to meet in the Ridge Trail area. It's just far enough away if you'll notice this is where all the kidnapped sims went. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna have him get on midnight first before we go this way, but Mortimer is gonna meet up with our kidnapper right here. So it's just far enough away that he wouldn't know the exact location of where the kidnapped sims were, but not so far that the kidnapper would have to walk a really long way. <laughs> We just made it to the open area here. It's finally stopped raining. We're just gonna keep an eye out for uh, Alexander and do our money trade. Our burglar is here. Or should I say kidnapper? I bet you have no idea who this is. None whatsoever. <laughs> we'll get off at midnight and have a conversation with our unknown kidnapper. <laughs> Dude, that mask is a little creepy, not gonna lie. Whoa, kidnappers checking us out. Making sure we have the money. Oh, we bowed. Accu accuse of impropriety. It's like, look at that outfit and that mask. With that, we're gonna make sure to hand over our money. Our little kidnapper here says, by the time we get back home, we will have Alexander with us. We're putting a lot of trust in our kidnapper here, but don't really have another way to bring Alexander over. So <laughs> this is how it's playing out. There we are. We're gonna send him our 10,000 simoleons. There you go. And you're now a rich man. Now let's rush home and see if he was truthful and had a an, an accomplice who we know he does that went and dropped off Alexander. So let's rush back home. Bella's been so distraught that she's just laying in bed, taking a nap, trying to make the time go by as quickly as possible because she doesn't want to have to think about if something goes wrong. Mortimer's just made it back and look who is here. By the way, my, my repairmen are still broken for this lot. <laughs> I've moved them in and out. I've tried everything I can to get this stupid repairman not to come, but we have two that are just cycling through trying to repair our stuff and then they take our money and then leave. <laughs> so it's great. If anyone has any ideas, I'm open to suggestions because I've tried resetting the lot, I've tried moving them in and out. I don't know what else to do. I'm gonna take some, some research to figure it out. Anyway, let's go say hi to Alexander. Let's go hug him. Bella doesn't even know she was sleeping through the drop off of Alexander. Hello, Alexander, we missed you. Oh, it's so precious. Let's pick him up. Oh, and look at this, he immediately wants to teach Alexander to walk. Of course you will. I know he's hungry. 
Let's just, let's get some loving in though. We need some loving. Bella's coming down to say hi to Alexander too. She's ecstatic to have him back. Although she hasn't rolled any wants to teach him any skills, so that might be up to Mortimer. <laughs> we missed you, Alexander. Now we can get back to the program. Ooh, look how close Alexander is to learning how to walk. We can totally get that tonight. This one should be it, I think. Learned how to walk. He wants Alexander to age up well. I wonder if we should consider that want as a he'll teach him like how to talk and go to the potty too. You know what I mean? Like if he wants him to grow up well, then he's gonna want, like he's gonna need to know his skills. Oh, and Bella has the same want. Mortimer's over at work today at the business rabbit hole. So Bella's hanging out with Alexander, keeping him close, keeping him, you know, near her today. She's working on the talking with Alexander. I don't think he is very much in the talking, but we still have two days to get him there, so I don't foresee there being an issue. Unless Alexander learns how to talk, we're gonna go ahead and jump to a party, because I think Bella would totally throw a party to show off that they have Alexander back and they're celebrating and she's a, a social butterfly and a diva, so I think she would very much throw a party to celebrate the fact that her son is back. The party's just about to start, but uh, Wahoo and Mortimer decided to be a little frisky before they start the party. Or before the, the guests all completely get here, so... <laughs> Looks like we have the Giffords here. So they're the only guests to show up so far. Queen Esmer's made it as well. Looks like she's already digging into the food. These two prefer standing and talking in the rain than going inside for some reason. <laughs> oh good, Nita's just made it too. She's gonna have a conversation with Thomas. Jennifer Burb wants to sing to everyone. She's stealing Bella's spotlight though. Bella was gonna sing to everyone. I think Jennifer changed her mind for singing. She stopped. She's like, oh Bella, you can sing. Oh no, they're not getting along. Oh no, she's accusing her of being a diva. How dare you take my singing spot. This is especially special. The queen's here to listen to Bella sing. The, the diva in her loves this. Thomas, what are you doing? Look at him. He's trying to give flowers to Nina. And his wife is literally reading right there. <laughs> now Bella's accusing Nina of being a diva. She is not making any friends here. <laughs> Oh, it's so dramatic. I love it. Oh, poor Thomas. Poor Thomas. Trying to sing. <laughs> Not nearly as great as Bella. Let's, let's be honest here. Bella wants to talk to Lucy. Let's have them have a conversation. Talking about their house. Maybe she's telling her which house to go to for uh, kidnapped sims. Although the Giffords didn't have... They didn't. They weren't affected by the kidnappings. They just... Uh, Thomas, at least, was out helping search for them. Mortimer's holding on to Alexander. He's like, I am not letting him go. Oh, Alexander's crying. Everyone's like, oh my god. He's just tired. Mortimer's putting him to bed. Uh, Nina. <laughs> She's trying to flirt with Thomas right there. Did you see that? Everyone. <laughs> Man, Esmer did not appreciate that. Holy cow. <laughs> Man, I think most of this party is no one getting along with anyone else. <laughs> A lot of their needs are getting pretty low, so I think we're just gonna end the party here. But we're- oh my goodness, what are these two doing? Nina? Nina? What is happening here? Why is he accepting this? Oh, he's not, okay. <laughs> they, they looked pretty into each other for a second there. Bella woke up this morning wanting to teach Alexander how to talk, so she's gonna do that this morning for a little while before she gets back into her work and writing some novels. She does need to make some money with that. We might get the potty training point from this. Alexander has to go badly enough that we're probably gonna get that. He already knows how to walk, so all we'll have left to do is teach him to talk and he'll be able to grow up well like uh, Mortimer and Bella both want to see for Alexander. There it is, all right. <laughs> Bella's writing her novel. I can't remember if it's a drama or a trashy novel. Those are the only two the two types of genres that she writes, but <laughs> apparently this chair is not coded quite correctly because <laughs> as you can see, it's not working very well. Alexander's about to learn how to talk. Of course, Bella's showing him the word gossip. <laughs> you're almost there, Alexander. Come on, I know you're hungry. We'll feed you in just a second. Just in time too, because 
He only has one more day left. It'll be his birthday tomorrow. Yay! Mostly good job, Bella and Mortimer, for wanting to teach him all those things. This girl is trying to rob us right now. Midland's like, hey, dang it, burglar. I don't think we have any alarms or anything. Yeah. Shoot! Unlucky! <laughs> we get Alexander back, and now we're getting burglared. They're like, oh, you must have a lot of money because you could pay that ransom. Guess I'm gonna hit up your house. And I'll just pick up these toys for you. Oh, someone woke up. Bella woke up. Bella, fight him. Oh, she's gonna fight her. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we don't need no burglar alarm. We've got Bella to fight off burglars. Wow. Wow. What are you? Oh, because she's brave. <laughs> That's what you get for trying to rob us. We're just about set up to celebrate Alexander's birthday and it looks like Mortimer got a promotion at work. He's a corporate drone. Let's see, what's a medieval version of that? <laughs> Time to blow out the candles for Alexander. Bella's bringing him to the cake now. Let's get Mortimer off of the book that he's reading. One second, I think everyone's arriving. The queen's here. Gotta have the queen in here. I wonder if uh, the queen brought Mary, I asked her to, but not sure if Mary actually showed up. I don't think Bella ended up pregnant again from the Risky Wahoo from earlier, so unfortunately no Cassandra yet. Here we go. Oh, more people are here too. Gotta make sure to go greet them. Oh my gosh, it's <laughs> cross sides. Due to excellent parenting skills, we can choose a trait for Alexander. And of course, I'm gonna do the randomizer. Oh, <laughs> that one's not a real trait. Here we go. Good sense of humor. All right, Alexander's funny, eh? Here's Alexander. Look how cute he looks. I love the outfit. And then let's get closer. His face, he looks so much like Bella. Even his little lip. Oh my gosh. I freaking love how adorable he is. Ooh, that nose. The bridge of his nose is a little much, but maybe that'll look better when he's a little older. Classic. Oh man, you know what? This means that uh, Alexander has to go to boarding school after this round finishes. I think there's not enough time left, eh, four days, that we could send him, but I think we'll wait. I kind of like the they grow up and we hang out with him for a few days and then they go to boarding school, so at least it's not totally without the kids to get to know them, you know? Ooh, look at this. Queen Esmer did bring Mary. Let's talk with her. Friendly introduction. This could be good for the goths as far as getting their way into the royal family for future betrothals and whatnot. We'll see how well they get along. Oh, so far not so good. Get to know her. Maybe we'll gossip a little bit because he is Bella's son. Well, at least their chat conversation is going a little better. He must be talking about the color of her dress. She has his favorite color that she's wearing. Lilac. I was hoping they'd kind of chit chat on their own, but so far they aren't really doing anything. Yeah, they just want to watch the karaoke. Alexander's pretty tired anyway, so we'll probably just end the party. Oh gosh. I don't think you should be booing the queen. That, that's probably not a good way to get set up with the queen. Everyone is booing her. Oh no. Don't you know you're supposed to suck up to the queen? Let's do some exploring today. Mortimer's one true hobby is uh, science and relic hunting. So he's gonna go search around a little bit and see if he can't find a relic. He's also gonna keep an eye out for the bane bits because there are still some sims missing out there. And I think he'd want to help find them even though he has Alexander back. We're gonna get midnight ready here. And Mortimer wanted to go for a ride anyway, so it kind of works out. And midnight wants to go drink from a pond. So we'll probably stop somewhere so she can get that want as well. Mortimer's just made it to the bandit area. He's uh, suspicious of this place, not to mention that he's heard rumor there is a relic spot here, even though he's been here before. So we're gonna dismount midnight, let her graze around a little bit and uh, see if we can't find anything. Let's check the open buildings because I'm pretty sure we missed a really obvious one with him last time. Here we go, take Keystone of the Neophyte. Let's grab it. Nice! It can be used on matching keystone panels to unlock things. Ew, did he just eat an onion hole? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, 
look, and Bella finished her book. She gets uh, six royalty payments of 352 simoleons. Good job. Oh, and it looks like she got a promotion with it too. Apparently this is what you do when you find a keystone you've been looking for for a few rounds. You sit on chamber pots and read a book. <laughs> Nina's out here looking for Morris too. Poor thing's been trying so hard to find him. She doesn't realize how close she is to finding him too. He is in this area. Hint, hint. <laughs> I heard some screaming outside. Look who I found. Why am I not surprised that he is on fire? <laughs> Come on, Miss Brave Bella. We need you. And let's see if we can save Octavian. I swear he has a death wish. Oh no, don't leave. I can't save you if you leave. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> I don't know how much longer we have. I only just found him. Go, Bella, go. I need to find a default for the fire extinguisher. At this rate, we're going to be saving Octavian every episode. <laughs> Oh jeez, you were lucky Bella was here, dude. Go home, please. No, you're, you're just gonna stand there? I think putting out Octavian got Bella all hot and heavy. She wants to be a Morris with Mortimer. Might have another risky woohoo. Let's see if they choose to. There you go, Bella. Oh, nope, that's it. No, no risky woohoos. Fine. Bella rolled the want to increase her comma simtra skill and look who just got home from work. That's right, Mortimer. We're gonna work on increasing that skill, Bella, and maybe we'll get a baby out of it. It is a full moon and perhaps not the greatest time to go visit a graveyard, but last time Bella wanted to go see her brother and now it's too late since, you know, he, whoa passed away in a fire. Bella's gonna bring Alexander now that he's old enough to kind of see his uncle in a way. They both made it here. Let's see. No, don't do your homework, Mortimer. I mean, Alexander. <laughs> let's see. Oh, let's bring that down a little bit. And we'll come over here where the graves are at. I'm kind of curious if they will come out since it's a full moon. So we might hang out in the graveyard for a little while. Because then maybe... Alexander could actually meet them. <laughs> Maybe it'll spark some sort of uh, interest in the supernatural for Alexander. We'll just have them chatting. She'll tell him a about her brother. Tell him a story about Michael. Oh no, it's starting to hail. <laughs> I guess we might not be here as long as I was hoping. So here's this one's Dina and then this one is Michael. And then just a reminder, they both passed away from a fire. They got stuck upstairs and couldn't make their way down, essentially. <laughs> Poor Bella. Let's have Alexander mourn too. He may not have known them very well, but he can mourn, remember them. He wants to go home. He's like, I'm getting hailed on. Can I go please? <laughs> All right, so much for seeing if there's any ghosts gonna come out. It's, it's hailing, the weather's not cooperating for our little plan here. These two are just getting up for the day. It's the last day of fall for this round and the goth family. So we're gonna go ahead and just pay the taxes now for King James Bartholomew. We'll go through the master controller menu. Money transfer, let's find the king. We'll do gender male. Here we go, Bartholomew James. Let's give him his 200 that we owe. Chump change for the goth family. And that wraps it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know we had a pretty jam-packed episode this round. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time.